Right, so, um, I thought it would be a good idea to, um, you know, since I just got a Wii U the other day, that um, I, I think it would be, I thought it would be a good idea to look back on, on the Wii U, see what it did well, see what it could have done better, and see what Nintendo has learned from the mistakes with the Nintendo Switch. Um, here you can see me training at my um, amiibo. I'm not the best at Smash, and I think the two worst characters I did against uh, my amiibo was Rosalina and Luma because I've hardly played them, and uh, my main Little Mac. So yeah, I was actually quite surprised to see that my main Little Mac, but actually did, I actually did bad with it. Um, but yeah, um, him. Yeah, I think that I could say I was having a bad time. Um, as in, but I think honestly, Link's set is just like well, just too well equipped to deal with Little Mac. He has strong um, short range with his sword and everything, um, which I can usually get around. But then there's also he can also um, hold his own long range with his bow and with the, um, magical boomerang. So yeah. Anyway, the Wii U. The Wii U launch and. When it launched, I it was uh, this was when I was really getting into watching YouTube. I had known about YouTube before then, but this is when I was, you know, really starting to get into it. And um, around this time, there was this new ad that was playing, um, which is totally unrelated to Nintendo, but um, this um, relates in some way, yeah. This ad was ba basically using stop. Let me take the selfie song, and it was really annoying. So, and I I kept on seeing it on uh, like almost ev just before ev almost every video I watched. So, I was like, okay, that's it. I'm going ad block. So I've I got ad block, and I've had it on since ever since. Um, so I never really saw an ad for the Wii U. Heck, I didn't even know about the Wii U's existence for years. Um, because I was mainly like getting into YouTube, so I was I had to watch all of the Yogg's cast stuff. And uh, yeah, I had to watch Mark Markiplier, Jack Septicai, Game uh, Mad Pat and Game Theory. Um, you know, I was just and uh, I did eventually learn about the Wii U and I was like Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I, I always wondered why they never made a sequel to the Wii, and why they stopped supporting the Wii with new games. Um, but yeah, um, the Wii U. Let, let's look at it at our launch. The marketing was terrible. The marketing seemed to aim towards a more casual audience. Which was a bad idea from the start, because the casual audience, you know, probably already had a Wii, and the casual audience isn't really gonna, you know, buy a Wii U. Um, and it, uh, um, the so the marketing was very bad. Like it had horrible marketing. Um, then uh, we have. Uh, what next thing we're going to look at is um, the launch uh, titles. It launched with no exclusive Nintendo titles. No Mario, no Zelda, no Link, not even Luigi's Mansion 2, which would come to uh, the uh, Nintendo 3DS later, and the, the, 3D, uh, the Nintendo Switch is now going to be Mansion 3. Yay. Um, so, it, it literally had no support from Nintendo. I do know it launched with Zombie U. Well, I think it launched with Zombie U. I know it was at least one of the earliest games on the Nintendo, on the Wii U. And it, um, I haven't, I've got it. I haven't played it yet, but it is supposed to be a good game. Um, so yeah, Ubisoft, you know, supporting Nintendo even in their darkest days. Anyway, um, so. We, it had horrible marketing and the de lacklustre support from Nintendo, and that didn't really change much in the years to come. Well, I don't know about marketing, but I know Nintendo 
it's saying it's really do much to help the Wii U. Um, the exclusives the Wii U did get is Smash Bros. Mario Kart 8, uh, Toad to Treasure Tracker, uh, the new title Splatoon 2, uh, Splatoon 1, sorry, not Splatoon 2, that's on the Switch. Um, what else did it, did Nintendo give it? Um, it got a rubbish Monopoly Animal Crossing game, or most people will say it's rubbish. Uh, I haven't even played it, so I can't really um, say. Um, what else did Nintendo give it? Uh, at the end of its lifetime, when the Switch was out, it did get Breath of the Wild, but I really don't count Breath of the Wild because that was just too little too late. Like. Breath of the Wild is a brilliant and an amazing game, but it, it couldn't save Wii U, even if it came out earlier, it would not save, have saved the Wii U, it's just like, wow, this is a really good game on a really shit system. Well now, to be fair, after playing on the Wii U for a bit, the Wii U is a good system, everything else was just shit, pretty much, you know, the... Uh, the support from Nintendo, the marketing. Uh, I don't know about third party. Um, Ubisoft did a good job. Zombie you know, from whatever. It's, uh, I don't know, I'll have to play some more third parties. But um, um, yeah, it was. Uh, it wouldn't have been able to save the Wii U, and I would, and I could just see it being ported, just like half the games that had Donkey Kong Country, and it also had Iron Warriors. Now these are good games, um, so the Wii U is a console, a good console, that was poorly marketed, had next to no uh, support from Nintendo at launch, but had some good games on it by the end of its, uh, end of its lifetime. Would I suggest getting the Wii U now? If you're short on money and can't afford a Switch, yes I would suggest getting a Wii U. Um, it does have Smash Bros. 4, which is a which is a good bit of fun because I am having fun um, training up my amiibos, even when they own me with my maid. Anyway, um, but the main problem is, you know, during its lifetime, it was just you know it's a poorly marketed and too little support from Nintendo. Um, but the Switch is the Wii U, but better than right now. Is getting a lot of ports from the Wii U, and it even has uh, some exclusives like Hyrule Definitive, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition is a better version of Hyrule Warriors on the Wii U. Um, Captain Terry Treasure Tracker has its own uh, unique Mario Odyssey theme levels, although it uh, does uh, trade uh, the Mario Odyssey theme levels for. Um, the Super Mario 3D Land levels. Um, we don't. Right, so there are, you know, uh, is a, a quite common to see a port. We're even getting new Super Mario Bros. U and new Super Luigi U. Um, so, yeah, it is pretty much. Pretty much. It's, you know, you can get good. Right, I could probably. I could uh, pop down to. Let's take another shop and uh, get a Wii U with new Super Mario Bros. U and uh, the new uh, Super Luigi U for 80 quid, more or less. Like my dad's, my dad's friend owns a second-hand shop. He's selling one uh, with all that for 80 quid. Um, so yeah, if you want to, if you want a, um, if you just want a cheap console that has some good games on it. And the games are, are quite cheap themselves. Get a Wii U. Uh, one thing I will say is, get the black version because um, if you didn't know, the Wii, the white Wii U was the first one to release. It only had four gigabytes of internal memory. The black one has eight. Um, and do you want to know how bad it is for the white Wii U? I got one of them. I uh, it couldn't even download all of the uh, current updates for Smash Bros. So yeah, definitely. If you get if it's the right one, get at least an eight gig memory card, at least. Um, and uh, then, uh, and also maybe an eight gig 
SD card to boost that a bit. You know, just you just shove memory card. Right, here's a really good thing in it for it. Yeah, on the front it has not one but two um, USBs that, that memory cards that you can plug in. So you know, um, eight gig SD card cost me about seven quid from the shop uh, to essentially quadruple, you know, times the base systems of memory by five. Um, you would uh, you that would cost you um, fourteen quid. Not too bad. You know, considering you could get it for 80 quid, so you put Chavel on there, so yeah. Um, but the Wii U is not the worst console ever. Like, I remember there was people like, before the Switch came out, they were like, Oh, Nintendo is dead, I'm going to become a uh, third party developer, like Sega, and it's like... No, that, that, there is so many things wrong with that. Right, first off... Sega didn't fall due to one bad console. They fell because they made several bad consoles with bad games on them. Uh, it was a whole string of bad ideas. And Nintendo are currently richer and more, you know, just richer and have a lot more money than Sega ever did. And they could probably afford to do the Wii U ten more times and barely even break a sweat. Yeah. But all of this has, but um, going back to the Wii U has got, to, got me thinking. Which of the big three, Nintendo, Sony, or Microsoft, is most likely to go out of the console business? And uh, yes, yeah, something I've been thinking about. So you might see a video on that next. But yeah, long, uh, tr about twelve-minute video, short. Wii U was, was poorly marketed. Uh, and had very little first party, you know, had very little support from Nintendo. But you can go out, get one now, quite cheap. Um, get a few games for even uh, cheaper, they're like 5, 10 quid. Um, and it, um, yeah, have yourself a good cheap one. So, I mean, uh, the, the Switch, well, the Switch is still better, but it is more expensive. Like, a Switch, Switch is about 200 quid, and a, like I said, the Wii U is about 80 quid plus two games. Like, yeah. So 80, 70 quid just for a Wii U on its own, which is, yeah. But also make sure if you're buying one to make sure the gamepad comes with it, otherwise you're going to get one without a gamepad and then you're going to have to buy the gamepad separately. Um, and that's just going to be a whole um, pain in the bum. Um, also make sure they work before you're buying them. I don't want people. Like seeing this and then coming back to my channel and stuff. I went to buy a Wii U like you suggested, and uh, then uh, then when I pay paid them money without even testing it before I paid them, I mean I got it home it didn't work and it's like, well that's not my fault. You should, I I've told you in the video to test it, and it, uh, you know just you know it was your own fault. Anyway, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye bye. Oh, I almost forgot to um say what they did, what Nintendo has learnt from this experience. Um, so, let's have a look at the Nintendo Switch. Its marketing was on point. It was marketed as a home console that you could pick up and take anywhere. Um, so yeah, marketing, on point. Um, it launched with Breath of the Wild, one of the best Zelda games of, of all time. And, uh, the, you know, it's uh, still one of the best games recently released. Um, I think it outsold the Switch itself. Um, so, yeah, it just, uh, you know, it's had an amazing launch. Not only I had ARMS, which was a new IP from Nintendo, um, and, it, uh, yeah, it just had a really good uh, uh, support from Nintendo at launch. A lot better than the Wii U. And not only that, but they continue to this day to support it, even if it's just ports. That's another game that the Switch didn't have, that it now has. So, um, the Switch, you know, it uh, is do it's doing what the Wii, you know, they're doing what they should have done with the Wii. They mark, they were clear marketing. They supported it, uh, um, 
you know, they're fully supporting it. Um, and they're, uh, and it's, while the base, um, you know, switch is a bit small in its, um, file size, I do believe it is 8, let me check for this, but I do believe it is 8 gigabytes base, uh, uh, system settings, data management, um, oh no, yeah, system memory about 20 odd gigabytes, over 21 gigabytes, I mean, yeah, so I have about, I have 21.7 gigabytes in system memory available, so about 30 gigabytes of memory, I'd say. Maybe I, uh, probably not 30. I'd say 25 gigabytes. Yeah, 25 gigabytes, that sounds about a lot closer. About 25 gigabytes of memory. Well, that's not the biggest, uh, um, you can get to, uh, memory cards. My memory card, hold on, I want, I'll turn them. Switch off because the switch doesn't like you removing the SD card um, without turning the power off. Under the kicks, and I have a 200 gigabyte memory card. So yeah, um, and then it has a USB port, which I don't know. Well, in the dock it has a USB port, which I don't know that I've not tried. Um, I don't know if you can actually use them to, um, as, um, you know, extra d data storage devices. But if you can't, it's not a big loss, because I use it mostly for my, um, what should I call it? Um, like keyboard and wired controllers. So, yeah, that's what the Nintendo Switch did better than the Wii U. And, it, um, yeah, like I said, the Switch is just a better Wii U, um, but a lot more expensive. Like I said, 200 quid Switch, 80 quid Wii U, plus two games. I think, I think the Switch is about 300 odd with, with uh, one or two games. Anyway, I'll see you guys. This time I'll see you guys in the... And uh, next video, bye-bye.